Hi, this is Alex from PHP Academy, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the basics of submitting checkboxes and reading this data with PHP. So, the first thing we're going to do inside a file uh, index.php that I've created, we're going to create a form, and that's going to have um, a checkbox or a couple of checkboxes um, and a submit button. In process.php, this is where we're going to be submitting this form to. And in process.php, I'm going to teach you how we can pick up uh, this checkbox data after we've submitted the form. So the first thing we're going to go and do is obviously create the form. So let's uh, say form action equals, and we'll leave that blank for the moment. And we'll say method equals, and we'll leave that blank as well. And we'll end the form just there. Now the action is obviously going to be process.php. This is where we're sending the form data. And method, uh, usually we would use post because we're sending the data, perhaps this is a registration form or something, we would use post. Uh, but just for now, for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to use get. And this is going to allow us to see the data that we are submitting in the URL bar. Okay, so you can see at the moment in our browser, uh, we've got nothing, it's just blank. Um, obviously that's because we haven't created any uh, form fields or any form elements yet. So we're going to say input type equals, we'll leave that blank for now. Um, and we'll say now checkbox. So it's as simple as that to create a checkbox. I'm sure if you're uh, used to HTML, you'll already know that. Uh, and we're going to give this a name. So I'm just going to say agree. And just beside this, I'm going to write, uh, I agree uh, with the terms and conditions. OK, so something that you'd usually find uh, on a form, I, I agree with the terms and conditions. You either check this or you don't. So a user can uh, leave this checked or unchecked. Um, and let's go ahead and pop this in a paragraph. And we can come down here and create a new paragraph. And inside here, we'll create a submit button. So again, type equals uh, submit this time. And we'll give it a value. So we'll just say register. So inside of our browser now, we have this button. We can click it. And that goes through to process.php. Now you can see the, this question mark just here. Uh, this is where the, uh, the get data would be, uh, would, would be shown after this. Uh, so you'll notice that when we click on uh, and we check this, or let's do it unchecked first, and we click register, we get nothing after this question mark. So we're not passing any data, uh, any get data through the URL. If I check it and I click register, uh, you can see we've got agree equals on. Now agree equals on, uh, we've called this agree. So we are essentially saying that the checkbox has been checked. Now you'll also notice that if we don't check the checkbox, the uh, contents or the, 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 the form element itself is not passed through. Uh, and in process.php, we're going to be using the isSet function uh, to actually go ahead and check this checkbox. So now that we've done the form and we know that the data is submitting properly, let's go over to process.php. And let's start by creating some PHP tags. Now inside here, I'm going to create an if statement and it's going to check whether this checkbox has been set or not. So we're going to say if and we'll create our brackets as well. Now in here, we're going to be using is set. And uh, this is essentially going to check whether it's set. Uh, like we checked earlier, if nothing is here, it's not set. Uh, and then we had the agree equals on. And this would mean that it's set. I This is the part that's set. And then this is the value. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, so what we are checking for is dollar underscore get. And then uh, in here, we're going to choose agree because that's the name of the uh, variable that we're essentially passing through. So if you're unsure uh, about this syntax, uh, there is a PHP Academy video uh, on get and post variables. So if is set get agree, uh, I'm just going to go ahead for now and echo out uh, set, for example. And then we can check uh, whether this has worked or not. So, OK, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and click register. Uh, nothing is displayed. When I do check this and I click register, you can see it says set. So essentially what we've done is we've checked whether a checkbox has been checked or not. 
Now, there's a couple of things that we also need to note here. Uh, the fact that this value could be changed, for example. So if uh, you just want to know, you know, that the checkbox has been checked, fine. Is set would usually suffice, but we might want to go that extra, um, extra bit, if you like, and check the actual value of it. Now we can either do this as a nested if statement, so we can do another if statement just down here, or we can actually do it on the same line uh, or within the same condition um, as uh, we've checked the is set. So we could say if is set get agree and dollar underscore get agree is equal to so two equal signs on. Okay, so we can echo out here set and correct value. So now what we can do is let's just go back. Uh, let's uncheck register nothing happens. We can check this click register set and correct value. So we've got agree is set and it's equal to on. If I was to for example change this to off nothing is displayed because the second part of our condition needs uh, this value to be set to on. Now this probably might not look useful but let's say for example uh, we set a value to this uh, here so name equals agree value equals true for example okay so uh, we might want to check that this is equal to true and then set and correct value so let's go back and back again and let's click register nothing happens check this uh, agree equals on we did not refresh this page let's just refresh this so let's click uh, or check this box, click register, set and correct value. You can see now instead of agree equals on, it says agree equals true. So we can set our own values to this. Now obviously when you're doing this in a real life situation, you're probably not gonna want to uh, use get uh, method because obviously uh, it's e much easier to change the values. So we're gonna say method equals post and then in here, we're gonna change these to post like so uh, and then if we were to go back to the form and refresh uh, obviously when we click register nothing happens you'll notice that the question mark that was there earlier has disappeared and even when we check now and click register it says uh, set and correct value uh, but we can't see the get variables in the URL because it's being passed as post data so that's what you would usually do um, you know if you were you know, creating a registration form, you would use post data because uh, it accepts a longer character uh, amount and also uh, it's a lot harder to modify the values within the URL. So let's just say um, this wasn't checked. We could say else um, echo, you must agree to the terms and conditions. Uh, so let's refresh. Uh, I'm going to check it. Fine. Uncheck it. You must agree to the terms and conditions. So, you know, this isn't ideal, but it gives you an idea of how you can start to build up, um, you know, messages based on whether uh, this has been checked or not. So it's extremely simple uh, to actually create a checkbox and submit values um, and actually, you know, take an action based on whether it has been set and it has the correct value.